Hey guys, Strong5 here, and uh, gonna show off a little redstone creation here. So this isn't like invented by me or anything, it's just I saw this in a video and I kind of recreated it. And just for my own purpose, just because I thought it was cool. I don't want to mess around with it, and now I'm just gonna make a little video showing off how this works. So first I'll just demonstrate it. There we go. Alright, so that's what it looks like when you press the button. So I'm, I'm just going to explain kind of how it works. Uh, first of all, this is the input line right here. So as you can see, this there's a series of blocks with torches on them along the bottom here. And then the signal, it when it goes through this repeater, it goes into this block. And then this repeater pulls it out of the block and so it keeps going. And they're all set on the a two tick delay. So this just snakes around and makes a way makes its way across each of these blocks all the way to the end there. And then along with that, above each block, each torch, there's a block. And so that block gets powered by the torch. And then when we put a torch on the side, it's it gets unpowered because this block is powered. And then when we put a block on top of that, this this one's allowed to be powered because since this torch is off, this is off, so this can be powered. And the pattern repeats all the way to the top, and then that just there's that above each torch. Um, so pretty much, when you press the button, the signal will move across here and also up, so it moves across the entire wall. So I'll kind of demonstrate that, see if we can see what that looks like. So as you can see, the torches are slowly turning on and off across the wall. If you look at this section right here, I'm turning on and on. So that's pretty much just the basic like wall thing. So um, I'm using so here I'm using red wool to connect the pieces of the wall to these four uh, rows of st of a redstone. Now these four rows are each connected to a piston. There's only three pistons, but this one, this fourth row, actually also connects to the, this piston because it needs to connect to it in two places for it to work so it can activate once down here and when it's up here. Just, it needs to be able to do that so it can get the block back down. That's that's different. That's a like different video though. That's like mechanics on triple piston stacking and stuff like that. So each of these is a line, and um, no matter where you put an input on the line, it'll go all the way to the piston. So you can connect, you can connect um, the wall to this line at any point on the on uh, on the span here. So what you can do when you have that is, if you depending on where you connect it, you can pretty much write your own program, kind of like just writing what you want the piston to do, and you can edit it very easily. You just replace. You remove the redstone and replace it somewhere else to make a new program. So here, what I have is on the first, the very first torch, um, the three pistons are going up, and second one they're they're staying up. Then third one, the the top one's going down, and then next one, the the bottom one's going. No, the second one's going down, and the bottom one's staying up. Then next, the the top one reaches out and grabs the top lock and then goes down and then next the second piston reaches up grabs the top piston goes down and then next the top piston reaches up again and gets the block and then also I kinda added this in again just so we wouldn't have a bunch of empty space at the end because I still had room to write more program if I wanted to so I just did a little simpler one that only uses the top two pistons so the top two deploy, then the top one retracts, then the top one goes out again to pick up the block. So that's the simpler one. So as you can see, each piece of red wool is a connection, and that's kind of just like one action performed by the piston. Like one goes up and it like extends and then retracts. So um, now that I just described it, let's watch it again, and then maybe you'll be able to follow kind of what's happening. So that was the first half, now we're going on to the other part. Yeah. 
So that's pretty much what this is. Um, in the video that I saw where the guy had something like this, it was for a, like a five high wall that was extendable that he had just made. Um, and his his wall like this of pistons was really long. It was like I don't know, like a hundred blocks long. I said, I think he said, or like longer, because yeah, it performed a hundred actions. So it had like a hundred pieces of red wool, pretty much. So um, it, it can be used for really complex complex things, but it will get very long. And also, what he called it, he called it ROM. So I kind of did some research on that, like what that is, because I'm not really. I don't know much about computers or anything, but I kind of looked into it, and um, it's called read-only memory, which it, it's in computers, and um, pretty much it has some kind of like program, and when you and like it takes the memory from it, and like it can when you like press the button here, it'll perform that action. So I think that's kind of different because um, it's kind of like easier to edit. But yeah, like I said, I don't really know too much about computers, so I'm not really an expert on this kind of stuff. I just, I thought it was really cool, so I thought I'd try making a little video just showing what it is for people who are interested. So, that's what that is. And uh, thanks for watching. Let's watch it one more time. Alright, thanks for watching. See you guys.